yeah. Oh, oh, and right in there. This is the Shark Ion Flex Vacuum. It's a powerful cordless vac. It's been advertised on television. That's today's review. All right, I've got it fully unboxed here. I've got the quick start guide. Let me put this thing together. First thing, it looks like we got the base here and this handle it's supposed to just click right in. Good. And this is supposed to click into that. Here's the battery and it's supposed to slide right into here. Boom. One thing the quick start guide says is that the battery comes with a partial charge and you're supposed to fully charge and discharge it before using it. As you can see, it's correct. It only has a partial charge. So I'm gonna use this charger, plug it in, and see how long it takes to fully charge. As you can see, it's freestanding right now. They make a big issue of how it's freestanding in the infomercial, but here's the key though. It's not freestanding. When it's fully engaged like this, it's not freestanding. It's only freestanding when it's in this kind of storage mode like this. But they have this handle, it's kind of easy to carry. If you've seen the infomercial, you know that it detaches. You can add your attachments on the end here. Um, you can also take this one off as well. It looks like a power drill. The collection's still up there. And it goes back together quite easily. I want to say something about the battery. Now this is the Ion Flex vacuum. Now you'll see it advertised as the Ion Flex and the Ion Flex 2X. Now is the 2X a better vacuum than the regular? That is not the case. They are the same vacuum. The only difference between this and the 2X is that you get two batteries and a charging dock. The vacuum itself is no different. It takes about three and a half hours to charge one of these. And for my first test, I'm seeing about 30 minutes of use. So basically I'm thinking that you would get maybe an hour with two batteries, 30 minutes with one battery, but you're still gonna have to wait for them to finish charging if it takes three and a half hours for them to charge. So they make a big deal about how you're able to use them continuously, but I'm not sure if that's really the case, especially when they last 30 minutes each and it takes three and a half hours to charge them. And just for the record, I have no affiliation with Shark. They have no idea I'm doing this review. In fact, if I point out anything critical, they probably won't like that I'm doing this review. But I wanna also point out that I paid $287 at Kohl's. I had a special coupon for it. That's what I dropped in this one. Hopefully it's worth it. And hopefully it's worth it to you to see if this demonstration works for me. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do now is just start this thing up, just do some basic vacuuming around here, kind of get a feel for it before I do some of my major tests. Hit the power button and you have carpenter floor, extend runtime, max power. It's pulling forward. So it's set on the carpet setting, so it is pulling forward. And Daisy doesn't like it. And you see turning corners, that feels very nice. I can certainly feel the power of it. I'm gonna switch over to, now this is for hard floor here. I don't feel it pulling like I did on the carpet. Back to the carpet setting. I already got some dust and hair in there and I wasn't even really doing too much vacuuming. So that is a good first sign. But what I really wanna do is put this thing to the test and see how it works compared to some of the advertising claims. So let's do that next. Again, I can't stand it up, it's gonna fall right over. So I have to, so I have to push this pushing that button, lean it forward, and now it stands up. For the first demonstration, it's a pile of cereal. Just the way they show it in the commercial, not that that's very natural or you couldn't be picked up easier, but let's see how well it does because supposedly it does well with larger objects like that. So let's try it out. Okay, we left some behind. All right, we did leave some behind. And of course my battery died on my camera as I was doing that. But as you can see, it picked it up on the second pass. Now let's look inside here. That's what we got inside. A couple pieces got over there, which I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way or not. Let's try emptying this out, because that's supposed to be easy as well. All we have to do is press this button to empty it out. There 
That came out easily, no problem. It's not a very big uh, container for the dirt and debris there, especially pet hair. I'll be curious to see if that becomes problematic or not. So my first test over the big cereal, maybe I went too fast, it doesn't really say. In the commercial, they do go pretty slow. It took me two passes to get up, which is not the end of the world, not a problem. But we got more to test to do, so let's see how it goes. What I'm gonna do next are some hardwood floor tests. But I thought instead of just doing that by itself, let's compare it to a couple other items here. Like we have this kind of cheap Dirt Devil vacuum. We have the Easy Edge hardwood floor sweeper. And then we've got the Duo Clean Ion Flex. So I thought that I would compare the three of them to see how this kind of ex somewhat expensive cordless vac compares to an inexpensive vacuum and an even less expensive $16 hardwood floor sweeper. One of the demonstrations was some coffee. Let's try that out. Hiya! All right, we've got three piles of coffee and three cleaners. Let's see how they compare. All right, we're on the floor setting. Oh, that did very nice. Very nice. Okay, excellent. I'm very happy with that one. That one turned out very nice. How about the $16? Easy Edge Hardwood Floor Sweeper, which I do like, but this is a little bit challenging for this, so let's try it out. I mean, not bad for a $16 product. Just gotta do a few passes of it. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, I wouldn't say it was 100%, but it's actually not bad. Now for my inexpensive Dirt Devil vacuum. which has got this cord. I feel like one of those I've seen on TV. Things where I'm fumbling around, ah, ah, ah. Because you know, when I see on TV commercials, they can never figure out to do how to do mundane tasks like put a cord in a wall. All right, let's try this out. Much louder. Oh, look, see that? It took two passes and it's significantly louder than the, the shark, so. Really, I think in that quick test, definitely give it to the shark. This is a shark, right? <laughs> I can't I can say that. Definitely give it to the shark. One pass and it was done. The Easy Edge was commendable for what it's actually trying to do. And this one was loud and took two passes. Acceptable, but still not as good as a shark. All right, so next up, I don't know what the next test is. <laughs> what is the next test? This is supposed to be good for pet hair. Well, I'm gonna pull out my True Touch glove, throw the ball to Bailey a little bit, collect some pet hair from her, and we'll put that to the test. Good girl. Oh, do you like that? Oh, she likes this. Good girl. Yes, you do, you like that. Bailey likes the True Touch glove. See how much I'm getting already? Yes, she's very excited, see that? Oh yes, you're excited. She's got so much hair back here. Look at all that hair. Oh, Bailey, Bailey. Look at that already, just in a few seconds. All right. Oh. Okay, that's a good donation. That's a good donation, Bailey. All right, as you saw, I collected some fresh pet hair off of Bailey from the True Touch glove. I'm gonna kind of rub it in the carpet and try the Dirt Devil and the Shark and see how they both compare. There we go, that's nice. Good. I'm gonna make two rows of it. This is fresh, this is not this old stuff, this is fresh hair. All right, carpet setting. One pass, one pass, not bad. It looks like it did, well that's, actually that's not pet hair, is it? Okay, I think they both did pretty well. One pass, it looks like they performed pretty well on the pet hair test, but we got lots more to do, so let's keep trying. All right, so what I've got here is I've got two piles of dog food, some dry dog food like that. I've got it on the carpet, and I've got it on the tile. I'm gonna vacuum this up, switch modes, and keep going, and we'll see how much is left over. Carpet mode. Oh, we got, we got some left. We've got some left. All right, we're gonna, now we're gonna switch to floor. All right, it seemed like it did a little bit better on the floor than it did on the carpet. I'm gonna make sure this isn't plugged up because that was a lot of dog food going in here. 
So it looks like everything was contained in the receptacle. That's good. I was hoping that it didn't get clogged up, which it did not, because those are some pretty large pieces. So it did a pretty good job of picking them up, but it did not pick up everything on the first pass, like they kind of show in the commercial. And this is what we're looking at with doing coffee grounds, some dog food, cereal. It looks like the pet hair is starting to get wrapped around this filter, so that's probably going to have to be pulled out at some point. One of the cool features of the Ion Flex is that you can take this part and put attachments right to it, and it becomes a handheld vac, just like this. Let's check it out. All right, I've got some dust where this keyboard was at, and I've got my dust attachment on here, so let's see how well it actually does. Not too bad. It even grabbed some hair that was on there too. I like it. I got my son using it now. He's actually impressed by it. He wants to try it out himself. All right, so we can also get high places when you use the extension handle and an attachment like this two-in-one crevice tool. So check this out. I can figure this out. There it goes. All right. Now watch me get these high places with this attachment set up. As you can see, there's a bunch of dust up there hanging down. Not attractive whatsoever. That's something I always deal with. And look how, look how out of reach I have here. Watch this. I mean, look how high I can go with this. Oh yeah. That's pretty awesome. You see all that dust I got down there? Easily reached it. This thing can reach, I mean, I can go more than 10 feet up in the air with that. So that's actually kind of a cool feature too. All right, I just noticed there's a bunch of dust up there that's really hard to get to. I don't even know how long it's been like that. Well, I just noticed an area of my house I never realized was that dusty until I started using this. And I just cleaned it all up, it looks really nice now. All right, since I have pets, I put on the pet multi-tool here. And the pet multi-tool is two tools for cleaning. A stiff brush for stuck on debris, and then you can also have an upholstery tool for removing stubborn pet hair and lint. Now my question is, can it get all that pet hair off that True Touch glove? I'm kind of curious. Let's try it out. Oh, oh, it went right in there. Nice, very nice. Now you can use this to get some of the tougher hair off like that. I've got a lot of my initial tests out of the way. As you can see, it's still got two out of three bars left. I'm just going to let the battery expire. I'm going to turn this on and let it go. Um, you're supposed to deplete it the first time completely that you use it anyway, so I'm going to see how much battery life I have left after my initial test. Then I'll recharge it and start all over again. So I'm going to let that go and see how long that takes. Okay, it's just shut off. It's been exactly 15 minutes. Of course, there was no suction. There's no resistance, so it was just sitting here for 15 minutes going straight. I probably use it for another 15 minutes before that, so about 30 minutes is uh, how long the battery lasted. Now we gotta charge that up. I suppose it takes about three hours, so let's see how long it takes. The battery took um, a little over three hours, three, three and a half hours of charge, and about 30 minutes of battery time I get out of it. The name ION is in the battery, but the flex is right here. Because not only can you store it when it flexes that way, but you can also go underneath tables. There's just a lever down here that I press. And that allows you to now go underneath tables. Okay, I've been using this for a few days now and Looks like it's not getting too bad with the pet hair. I mean, anybody who has pets knows this is always a problem with vacuums. And I, this is kind of remains to be seen. This will be one of my part two things I'll discuss about how much the pet hair becomes a problem for it. But you know, anybody who has pets knows this process. I've got two golden retrievers and they definitely kill vacuums. I have no affiliation with Shark or the IonFlex, but if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description below. So here's my initial opinion of the Shark IonFlex after using it for a few days. I think that it's powerful, it's quiet, 
it's very versatile. I love the fact that you can detach different parts of it and use it as a hand vac. So really, I think that for the most part, it lives up to the advertising. There's only a couple of discrepancies I have versus the advertising. One is that picking up piles of large objects might take a couple passes. They always showed it as one. And the other thing is that the two batteries, if you get the 2X, will still only equal about an hour of runtime. It takes three and a half hours to charge. So I wouldn't expect continuous use beyond that. Overall, I think it's a very solid product. Have you used a Shark Ion Flex or something like it? Let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.